I give our honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, and the first and the last. Give a double honor to our prophet, Prophet H. Walker, and the elect lady, Mother Walker, giving our honor that is due in the household of faith. My brothers and sisters, this video is concerning the Detroit Baptist Church lesbian pastor named Allison Abrams a false hypocrite prophetess who have lied and deceived to the people into thinking that she is a child of God when really she is the child of Satan. People, this video is to drive a strong point to let you know we are in a day of time where there are many false prophets and many false prophetess that come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, but they are preaching false doctrine and they are leading a lot of people to the lake of fire. Just recently, a lesbian pastor named Allison Abrams made an announcement to resign her title as bishop and pastor because she had just recently married another lesbian named Diana Williams. And she's planning on, in the near distant future, to start up another church. People that are listening right now, do not follow this woman. This woman has marked it God. She has blasphemed the holy scriptures. God has condemned lesbian lifestyle in the word of God. If you don't believe me, if you turn to Romans, the first chapter, it is very evident and very plain that God has condemned same-sex behavior. She also made a statement that she is for same-sex marriage, and she also is a great friend and a great follower of the president of the United States of America, Mr. Obama, who has passed same-sex laws and have allowed abortion and all the abominations that has gone forth in America through the passing of laws. But God has never accepted same-sex relationships. God is not in agreement with same-sex marriage. God condemned sodomite behavior, which can be referred to as homosexuality, but the Bible condemns them as sodomites. He also condemned lesbian behavior. He said they are worthy of death. If God said they are worthy of death, who is any man or woman can come along with some clever words and make a statement that she is for same-sex marriage, hoping that somebody will follow her abomination. Brothers and sisters, be not deceived. She is a false prophetess. She has no business preaching the gospel. God has not called this woman. She brought herself up. This story is a perfect example of the sodomite and lesbian coalition that has taken over America, that has taken over the media, and now is trying to invade the church of God. Brothers and sisters, they may invade America. They may invade the school or the media, and they will invade the false churches. But my brothers and sisters, they will never, ever invade the true church of God. Now, instead of, of this lesbian pastor repenting of her lesbian lifestyle, she chose to leave her congregation to continue in this lifestyle and down the road open up a church. My brothers and sisters, I warn you once again, as I told you in times past, do not attend this woman's church. She will lead you to the lake of fire. There is no scripture. There is no foundation. There is no Bible for lesbian behavior. And if she don't repent, she is headed towards a burning hell. And those that follow this lesbian pastor, you are in error. And it's time to repent from your error and leave away from these false preachers. If you read your Bible in Romans, the 16th chapter, starting at verse 17, Paul an apostle of God gives warning not to follow false preachers who bring forth to you false teachings and false doctrine. The Bible says they will trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Jesus Christ. And this is what she's doing. 
She is using the word of truth. She is using the word of God to introduce a foul affected lifestyle. I'm talking about lesbianism, a lifestyle that is an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Brothers and sisters, I warn you, leave this woman alone. Do not go to her church. Do not receive her in the name of the Lord. She is a false preacher. She is a false pastor. She is a lesbian. Lesbians will not inherit the kingdom of God. Lesbians have no identification with the kingdom of God. Lesbians must repent. Lesbians can't be pastors. Lesbians can't preach the gospel. Lesbians can't sing in the choir. Lesbians can't do nothing in the church. Lesbians must repent and turn from their wicked lifestyle so down the road God may use them according to his purpose. But God would never use an individual that purpose in their heart to live a lifestyle that is contrary to the Bible. Wake up, brothers and sisters. It's time to come out of these false churches. Brothers and sisters of the Zion Progress Baptist Church, those that are faithful to her, do not receive this woman anymore. Those that are seeking after righteousness, those that are willing to humble themselves and follow after God, repent, come into the True Holiness Church, and follow after God's Latter-day Prophet, which is Prophet H. Walker. The Bible says in the book of Acts, the third chapter, verse 22, For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you, of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things, whatsoever he shall say unto you, and it shall come to pass that every soul which would not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Brothers and sisters, God has raised up that prophet among the Acts 238 brethren, and his name is Prophet H. Walker. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost.